So today let's look at the topic of finding HCF that is the highest common factor. So there are different uh, methods to find out HCF that is factor 3 method that is division method. Let us look at an example today and use the three method to find the HCF of these two numbers. So let's take an example. So finding the HCF of 20 and 12. So we are going to use the tree method here. If you want to know in detail how to do the tree method, you can look at my other video. The link is in the this description below. So let us go ahead and find out the HCF of 20 and 12. So in order to find the HCF of 20 and 12, first we need to prime factorize 20 and 12. So we will do that using the stream method. So I'm going to find out the prime factors of 20. So 2 tenths are 20. Since 2 is prime number, we circle it. Then we further factorize 10. 2 5s are 10. Both are prime numbers. So we stop here. Then we look at 12. We factorize it as well. So I can write 12 as 2 6 are 12. 2 is a prime number. So I circle and keep it aside. I factorize 6 further. So I get 2 as 6 as 2 times 3. Since both are prime numbers, we circle and keep it aside. Once again, if you want to see this method in detail, please check the other video. So now 20 can be written as 2 times 2 times 5. And 12 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3. In order to find HCF, we will look at only the factors that are common to both 20 as well as 12. So I see that first of all, this 2 is common to both. I mark them. Then I see there is another pair of 2 that is common to both. I mark them as well. Now I look at 5. I do not see 5 common to 20 and 12. So we do not do anything to 5 nor 3 is common to both. So the only number that is common to 20 and 12 is 2. Twos. So that means the HCF of 20 and 12 is the product of these two numbers. So 2 which I get from here and then times 2 which I get it from here which is equal to 4. So HCF of 20 and 12 is equal to 4. 